Hey guys, Jimmy Tendo here, and today we're doing something different on this channel. So, I know we review a lot and a lot of a lot of Nintendo stuff, right? Huh. Well, not that much, but still, you know what I'm saying. So, today, um, I recently saw the new Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse movie, it was part one, and um, I just got this package today to review. This is. This is my mom's toy, but I'll be unboxing it today because she told me to unbox it for her on this channel. So it's dedicated to her. And also, it's her it's her dad's birthday today. It's August 1st, the release of the new Mario sets that are coming out. That's that's not the new Mario set. I already reviewed one early, which is the Rambi. Um, I think I might get the Donkey Kong one today, hopefully. Um, I might get the Donkey Kong set today and unbox it and then review tomorrow. But today we're doing our toy spotlight next part. Toy spotlight means any toy. So it says ages four and up for this. But this looks more like a collector's item in my opinion. It's a Marvel Legends series. It's from Hasbro. And on the back of the box it says Marvel right there, right? All those attentions and warnings. It says Spider Gwen. So it shows the character right here from the movie, Spider Gwen. And it says also available is Miles Morales, right? We got Spider Gwen. This is Miles Morales. You can get Miles Morales. You can get Spider Man 2099, or Miguel O'Hara is his name. Jessica Drew, um, The Spot, Peter B. Parker, or Spider Punk Hobie. That's his. That's his actual name. So, um, here is the Across the Spider Verse Part One Spider Gwen. Now let's unbox it. Okay, so we're back. And I unboxed it carefully. So here's what we got. So inside the box we have that little rift portal from the movie that Spider Gwen uses. She has like a watch or something on. Like a time travel. Oh, wait, no, not a time travel. A universe traveling watch. And look, it says Spider Gwen right there. A little spray painted spider logo from Miles Morales. And now let's get her out of the actual packaging. And here we have our main character, Spider Gwen. All right, from the movie, she is voiced by Haley Steinfeld, and she is in the movie, um, and the first one too. So here, you're looking at like that pink dyed hair right there, right? And then you got the hood, right? She, she has she's wearing a little hoodie, right? And then. We also got, um, I don't know, her signature design, right? She has the pink and blue design. She's got those tied, like, greenish-blue shoes, I guess, right? She's got the skin-tight suit. Um, and then that's her face right there. That's the regular face. But um, there's also other accessories she comes with. So... She also comes with um, separate hands, so you can change the hands out for something else. And another head that has the hood on. Looks kind of menacing, the face. The face looks like really menacing, like angry. You know, not not like curious like in the, the movie. She looks like really angry, like, Miles, what did you do? You messed up everything, right? Like, I don't know. Um, so, um, basically... Let's change out the figure's alternate design right here. So here we have the alternate costume design and it looks even better, I would say. So look, so we got our actual, like just head here. No, sorry, the, the quality isn't that clear on the head, but we can zoom in. There we go, now the quality is more clear here. Oh, you see her, you see her face now? Huh. The face looks kind of like like a Barbie doll, kind of. That's what it reminds me of. You got that little shaved side on her head. She's growing her hair out. There you go. And there's like pink tips at the end now. I like the design of the face. It's very, very detailed. Um, especially. And then we got this little hood hoodie part. And that looks so cool. You can use it on a Lego figure, too, if you want. Like, just put it on the Lego figure. Then you got the separate hands. This is the spider shooting web, like shooting the webs out of her hands. And the fist balled up like she's going to punch someone. She's ready for action. And then we got her explaining to Miles why she's here. That's why she has the open hand. She's like, 
Miles, what are you doing here or whatever, right? Right, and so it's the same thing around the back and everything. It's just that I changed up the hands and the face now. Now it has that hooded look like um, an actual spider Gwen right here. So I like this design and I would give this a 9 out of 10 because I love all the awesome detail. They include very, very good detail on here. But the reason I give it a 9 out of 10 is because I feel like the eyes should have like been wider. No, like, like no offense. I love the figure design. I would have given it a 10 out of 10 if the eyes were wider. But I can understand why they did that, just to make her look like tough or angry, right? Or maybe they just ran out of pink ink to put on the character. Pink plastic, whatever. But um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below of this figure. And you should go pick one up if you haven't already. And, well, I don't know if these are still sold at, like, Target or stores anymore. But you should definitely pick one up if you're looking to get one of the figures. Miles Morales, Spider-Gwen, Spider-Man 2099, Jessica Drew, Spider-Punk, The Spot, or Peter B. Parker. That means there's, like, a total of seven? Seven characters to collect. So this is number two out of seven. First one being Miles, obviously. But, um, I... He, here we go, like, just let me know in the comment section below what you think of the the new Spider-Gwen Marvel Legends series figure. Bye, guys. Demi Ram out. Demi Tendo out. Sorry, I keep getting mixed up.